There's not much in there. Okay. There wasn't that much in there. I get like eight seconds and it's bubbling. So as soon as the bubbles subside, then I will go ahead and pour some more. And this cool, it's cool in here, so it's actually gonna probably sit up really fast. That's close enough for what we're doing. I don't mind if there's a few bubbles in this. I'll put those in the back. Keep it even. Okay. The nice thing about this is extra, you can save it, pour it into a silicone mold, you know, the ice, silicone ice, ice cube trays, you can pour it in that. I'll just, I usually just pull it out. Just kind of scrape it out here. These um, measuring cups, just like this, you can put it right in your dishwasher, okay? Let's pop it right in your dishwasher and you don't even have to soak it or anything. It just comes right out, comes out clean and perfect, okay? So, I mean, you can soak it if you want. But as for this, with ex excess here, what is, what is going on? I'm gonna move those out of the way. Let them cool, they'll cool on the counter up pretty fast. This guy right here. I can sit here and just see it's, co it's cooling pretty fast. You can see this is already cooled. And I'll just pop this, see, already cooling. Because when it stops sticking to the mat, it's, it's cooling off pretty fast. Um, I'll just pop it in a Ziploc bag and put it in with some desiccant, which um, will help with the humidity. Okay. If you want, you can pull it or blow it, make a bubble out of it or something. But I'm just going to save it for another day. Okay. Put that aside. Okay. So now that we're done with the hot stuff, we can take off our gloves. If you think you're going to touch any of it, though, you better put your gloves back on because when you touch it to see if it's done and it's not, you could burn yourself. So be careful. Okay, here's here I want to show you some of the ones I made previously. You can see how beautiful and clear those come. They come out. I'll put it on the white. Now, if they um, once they're done like this. You know, I got a couple days before the cake is going to be, um, to, I'm going to, you know, actually put them on the cake and because you can make them ahead of time. You want to keep them away from humidity because humidity is going to make them cloudy. So to help prevent that, you can spray them with, um, there's a lacquer, it's a confectioner's glaze. Um, pretty expensive, but it's well worth the price because you can use that on chocolate too, make it nice and shiny. Or you can use your cooking spray just like I do with the gelatin bubbles, and you can spray them, and that will keep them nice and clear. It seals them up so they water. The only difference with cooking spray is you have to respray. okay? If it's only going to be a couple days, no big deal, but if you're going to have it for, you know, a couple weeks, you have to keep respraying with the cooking spray because it wears off. It eventually wears off. But anyways, so you can see, nice and pretty, nice and clear, and we'll use these on our crown. I have some red ones. Here's the yellow ones that I did. Um, the same mold. And here's some red ones I did that I might need to spray. Those are hard. I'm not using the hearts. They're just, these ones are actually, you know, a couple years old. Last time I did a video with, with red ice malt. Again, I can spray these. I didn't do a great job on them, but I can use them. Okay, so these are, I mean, they still feel a little warm, but they, they feel like they've set up. If they come out, you know they're done. You can still feel they're a little warm. They do, they do um, go really fast. See, there it is. Pretty, huh? You can just a lot of times you can just do it like this, but I'm gonna. Let's see if I can get them out this way. There we go. Here's the teardrop. Isn't it beautiful? Pretty colors. It's so easy to work with. There's no reason not to use it now. The uh, manufacturers and the teachers have made it so easy that even the you know, normal layman like me can, can use isomalt. Ta-da! Pretty, huh? 
Okay. So we've got our jewels. Now we need to do the little arch guys. As soon as I get the rest of these out. 